So I remember when I first got into the gym, one of the main struggles that I started to face was that I hated how soreness felt. Like I would genuinely train biceps and stuff. And like I'd kind of go all in and, and, and I'd kind of enjoy the workout. But as soon as I got home, I just kind of feel really sore and stuff. And, you know, especially in the first while that I started training, like the first fucking week of training, I had genuinely felt some of the most nastiest soreness, which is completely normal, like to any beginner. But it was very overwhelming to me. I was like, what the fuck's going on with me and stuff? And I, I was really just fucking all over the place because of this shit. And like, I was kind of just laughing at this as I was kind of writing the script for this video. Like the, just this kind of story that I've had with my biceps where like I, my parents like asked me to help them with something. And I was like, oh, I'm so sore. Like I, I can't help you and stuff. And I genuinely was like holding my biceps like this because I just couldn't fucking do anything. They were just really painful and stuff. And, like, I was kind of just comparing this to how I act with soreness these days. Like, just a couple of days ago, I had a sick fucking tricep day. And as a result of that, I have really sore triceps. And I've had this, like, insane fucking tricep soreness for the last fucking, like, three days or something. And now, if, if it was me, like, back then and, the, like, in those days when I first started, got, like, going to the gym and stuff, I would have fucking been crying from this shit and stuff. But these days, like, I, I don't give a fuck. In fact, when I first got this soreness, I genuinely started just telling everybody, like, about it because I was just so happy about it. Like, I genuinely was, like, telling them, oh, like, I'm so happy about this. Like, I, I got this fucking sick fucking soreness in my tricep and stuff. And so there was a very big difference in looking at these sorenesses that have kind of just, you know, been getting around and stuff. What you see in our world, unfortunately, that is... We are complainers. We basically all tend to match that fucking, you know, version of me when I first got into the gym. Where we're all just complaining about the sorenesses. And we're all just like, ah, oh, you know, like, how can I be less sore? Oh, no, it feels so painful and stuff. When in reality, you know, this is kind of something we'll end up talking about. Or probably I'll just talk about it right now is that soreness is literally the, like the most direct indicator that you have literally trained the muscle perfectly. It is literally your body signaling to you pain because of you putting in the work. And so it is literally a direct indicator that you've had a good workout on this fucking muscle group that you, you have soreness in. And so when you wake up and you're feeling your chest really fucking sore and you can't even fucking, you know, like put your arms in front of you and shit, don't be fucking mad at that shit. The first fucking thing that you've got to realize is muscle soreness is an absolute fucking amazing thing because it's a literal indicator that effort that you have put in has been registered and it is good. It is a good thing. And so these days when I wake up and I don't got a soreness after hitting like some fucking intense leg day or like some fucking intense back day and stuff, I genuinely feel sad. Like I'm like, bro, I literally put like fucking effort. I put hours into like out of my day into this. And at the end, I wake up, and I don't even have an indicator that I've, you know, gotten a good workout. And so it just feels really sad and disappointing as opposed to you waking up and really sore and you feel your triceps really fucking burning and you can't even fucking, you know, extend your arm and shit. And it's literally just that bad of a fucking soreness. You end up fucking enjoying that shit because guess what? That's a fucking indicator. You've actually fucking gotten some good fucking work and shit. But our world doesn't register it that way. People register it as just pure pain and that they've done something wrong because, you know, when people feel pain, they're not really used to it. So they're like, oh, this must be bad. This must, oh, you know, I shouldn't train as hard. I should just lower the intensity of my training. When in fact, it is literally the intensity of your training that's getting you more muscle. And so why would you lower that? You know, you want more muscle. So but that's kind of stupid for you to, you know, lower in any sense. And so always kind of see it as just like all of it, like it's literally just an indicator that you've gotten a good workout and that you're getting some good gains. And so literally just when you feel that pain, when you feel your fucking soreness, literally just register it, just like take it in as, okay, this means I'll be getting more gains. I'll literally be getting more muscle in, in, in this fucking muscle group because I've hit a fucking workout. But don't see it as, oh, I've done something wrong and shit. That's kind of like the main whole fucking mindset. Like, if you genuinely, like, tell me as, like, a coach or as, as like, someone who is a friend of yours and who wants the better for you, and, like, you're like, oh, you know, I'm getting a lot more sore after these workouts. 
that should be fucking amazing. Like, you should genuinely be so fucking happy at that. Like, I'd fucking start clapping at you, bro. Like, that's fucking amazing. Good job. Because that means you've put in more effort in some way or another. Now, of course, you know, there are other things that will increase that pain, which we'll talk about and how you can actually lower those types of stuff. So before we move on with today's video, I kind of just want to talk about the Thrive Protocol. So basically, the Thrive Protocol makes building your physique as easy as it could possibly be. And so as I kind of was creating the Thrive Protocol, I thought about the different pain points that I faced on my own journey, like going to my dream physique. And I've basically put a solution to every single one of the problems that I faced on this journey. And so, so let's say you have a problem with getting motivated to go to the gym and stuff. We literally have a whole type of call specifically for that. So literally a whole call where like you basically call me because you're not really motivated and stuff. And I motivate you to get up to go to the gym. That's literally just, you know, one of the, the very many things that we have in the Thrive Protocol to help you to basically achieve your dream physique in the easiest and fastest way possible. So I won't talk about this too much. I have a whole video to, like just talking about it. Basically just everything about the Thrive Protocol put into one video. And so I'll just leave it as the first link description. You can basically just check it out right now and then come back to this video. So we've already kind of talked about this, but basically see, like muscle soreness is the very like big indicator that you've had a good workout before, like whether that be yesterday or whatever, you've had a fucking good workout on this muscle. And so that's why this muscle is sore right now. And so it's basically the best fucking indicator that you've done some fucking good work, right? And so knowing this, you should never take it in as a bad thing. You should never think of your soreness as a bad thing. These are all just kind of little fucking, you know, disclaimers and just different fucking mindsets that I'm just trying to fucking put onto you so that when you fucking like have a soreness, you don't take it in as bad as you, you know, think it might be because truth be told, sorenesses are a great thing overall. But now the thing is, nobody wants to be sore and have pain and, and you know, all this stuff. And so that's why, you know, there are certain fucking things or certain fucking tips that I always kind of fucking give when it comes to reducing sorenesses and basically helping muscle recovery, which is kind of the whole fucking idea of this video. So the number one reliever, actually, I'll just fucking call them relievers of fucking soreness, is basically reducing coffee. And it's specifically coffee, not caffeine, but coffee itself. Because the thing is, Coffee has sort of like these different plant toxins in it, just as any plant does. Plants have like plant toxins to protect them so that you won't eat them and stuff. But then this plant toxin specifically in coffee happens to increase muscle soreness. And so what happens is you basically just have this fucking difficulty, you know, basically walking and stuff, which is kind of muscle soreness, right? And so that's why reducing coffee and in fact like these days i don't even drink coffee because i, I just want to maximize like the amount of like minimize the amount of soreness and maximize the amount of recovery that i can get and so that's why i don't even drink coffee these days and so i'm not telling you don't drink coffee at all i'm telling you reduce the amount of coffee that you end up drinking throughout your day because the thing is the more coffee that you consume the more that you'll be taking in that plant toxin which means you know probably more soreness that you'll be experiencing like i'll just kind of tell you the story I've kind of tried coffee the other day because I just, I just kind of create, was craving it and stuff. And I swear to God, the moment that I fucking drank some of that cup, I just started to feel a lot of soreness in my back. Like I, I trained back previously and it wasn't sore. Like I trained it like two days ago, like from that time. And like it wasn't sore at all. Like it's been two days and stuff. And as soon as I drank that coffee, I had felt that like some excruciating fucking soreness in my fucking like back and stuff. And so I immediately, like, I genuinely like, took, like, two sips and stuff. I genuinely threw the fucking whole fucking cup because I was like, no, fuck this. No, like, I'm, I'm not continuing this shit. And so this is kind of just one of those things. Coffee will increase your soreness, and so just kind of keep that in mind. So the second thing, which is kind of really obvious, is sleeping well. Because when you sleep, you basically, like, recovery happens in your sleep. And so when you don't sleep well, you don't recover well. And when you don't recover well, you end up having, you know, more soreness because guess what? You know, you've covered a little bit because of course you're going to be sleeping, but if you don't sleep enough, you're not going to recover enough. And so that's why sleeping well will always kind of decrease the amount of soreness that you have, even though, you know, usually when you sleep the first night after your fucking like workout, you will end up increasing the soreness, but that's kind of normal because, you know, it'll increase anyway by the time. So it's not really dependent on sleep. It's just the fact that when you sleep, you recover more. And so a part of the process of recovering is that you'll increase that soreness by a little bit. And so that's basically why you need to fucking be sleeping well. And sleeping well really just means sleeping eight hours plus. That's kind of like the whole fucking idea behind it. 
And so just try to always get eight hours of sleep. It also helps to fucking get you more gains. And so, you know, it, it kind of seems stupid why you wouldn't fucking do this. So a third thing is kind of an interesting one that I found works for me at least. And it's that when I have some like small amount of like sornesses left, like, like this is just like the leftovers, as I like to call them, of like the soreness. I'd like to almost challenge it with stretching. Like I always kind of get like some tight quads and like by the end of the soreness, like the soreness is gone and it's almost like just like this little bit of fucking soreness that's left. I like to challenge it with stretching. And when I do those stretches, usually it like, you know, where I just kind of stretch the quad and stuff, it immediately just kind of it almost disappears like the fucking soreness. And usually like I do this on the day of the leg day, like if I'm feeling a bit sore on the quads, I just kind of do it and it just immediately would just go away like that little extra fucking leftover of fucking soreness And so at least in my own experience, it's kind of worked. I don't know the whole fucking science behind it or anything like that. I just know that I do it and it works for me. So that I just kind of thought to share this with you. Now, the fourth thing is something that basically decreases your inflammation and basically soreness is really just inflammation. And so it'll basically decrease your soreness almost immediately. And it is fish oils. It is omega-3s. So when you take omega-3s, basically it will lower your inflammation in, your, in the whole body. And so that means it'll basically lower sorenesses. And so it's kind of like this little mini supplement that you can take to basically just, you know, lower your sorenesses. And the final thing is eating more protein. Because when you eat more protein, you recover better, you build muscle, like you build more, much more muscle. And one of the like types of like amino acids, like these fucking like proteins and stuff, basically is called BCAAs. And these are like, I just get a protein that has them. I just take that protein and like I, I hit two, like two birds with one stone. But basically, you know, that's kind of like the whole idea. BCAAs tends to usually help muscle recovery. I don't know if it's placebo or like just because I think it does, it like it actually does. But when I do take protein after a workout and stuff like that, I just happen to feel less sore on the next day. And so that's kind of, you know, one of the things that, at least for me, has kind of worked. Now, one final little mindset that I just kind of want to add in. It's a bit more advanced and not many people will understand this. But it is simply that once you actually, you know, understand that, it is an indicator for more gains and that you, you know, like soreness and that when you get sore, you will basically get more gains the next day. And the more sore you are, the more gains you get. You almost want to kind of chase, you know, having more sorenesses. It almost becomes literally a game where you want to chase more soreness the next day, where your goal is to increase your soreness as much as possible the next day, but not by, you know, drinking more coffee or something like that, but so by actually, you know, putting in more work in the gym, putting in more intensity, doing more reps, doing more sets, doing more exercises, trying to basically maximize, you know, the intensity that you have in your workout. So the next day you'll end up having a better fucking soreness, a, a more powerful soreness. And that means more gains. And so that's kind of like the whole idea. You almost want to kind of chase the fucking soreness the next day because you want to see it as a very positive thing. So that's kind of really all there is to it. So if you commit to the work, you'll be getting the results.